everyone, this is Selena Kraus and welcome to another LDRS Creative Card video. In this video, I'm featuring uh, the Cherry Blossom stamp set and the new LDRS Creative watercolor paper. This is cold pressed smooth watercolor paper for £110. And it's amazing to, um, to work on it with the current uh, brush pro markers. So in this video, however, I'm not using the markers to color images, but I'm using to make my background. I'll do sort of a, a rainbow background. I have a jar of water here. I have a white brush and this is regular plate um, that I use for palette because it's very easy to clean after that. I just run it under cold water and everything comes off. So first I'll start with creating uh, the background with softer colors. So I'm just uh, scribbling um, the orange, like the pale orange marker onto the plate and picking up with the brush. After this, um, after I've applied the first layer of color, I'll go directly with the marker onto the paper, add some more color and then um, go again over it with my uh, watercolor brush. So I'm adding a little bit more color there. I want it more intense because this is pale orange. So I wanted to make it more intense. And you can bu build backgrounds because um, these markers are very bright. Like they're, they have very rich color. So if you add more water, you'll get, get more subtle background, more like pastel looking background. If you add more color, it will be more bright. So next I apply that coral color um, and then apply directly onto the paper with a marker. Now I'm going with fuchsia pink or like a uh, hot pink. And you can see how it's uh, how easy uh, the color blends when you spread it from the marker. I wanted to create um, kind of more um, lines. So that's what I'm trying to do with the brush because um, they can uh, blend very easily even when I apply directly to the watercolor paper. It was a little bit more difficult but uh, I was able to achieve the results that I was going for. So you can see there I'm applying the blue directly onto the paper while it's wet. And next I'll add some of the green. You see how pale that green is. So I will dry it with my heat tool to speed up the drying process or you can let it, as uh, let it put it aside to dry. So now I turn it uh, upside down. I'm starting with the green and I'm applying directly uh, the markers, the color onto that dry background and you can see how easy, easily it blends again even though the background is very dry. So here I'm applying um, wet to dry where previously I applied the marker directly onto the paper while the paper was wet. So we did wet to wet and now we're, dry, um, we're doing dry, um, wet to dry technique. So this one, um, when you do wet to dry dry, um, the colors are brighter. So I'm done now with the background. I um, set it aside to dry in here. Uh, it's under acrylic block or you can put it under something pretty heavy to make sure that it stays straight. I'm stamping a sentiment from the same stamp set. Then by magic of YouTube I trim it to sides. It says uh, it says sending you hugs. And next what I'll do, I will stamp the image from Cherry Blossom stamp set, the largest image, the branch, with the watermark ink onto my background. Before you do that, make sure that your background is completely dry because if it's not dry, the embossing powder will stick to the areas where it's still wet. So I stamped it a couple times uh, using the watermark ink onto that uh, watercolored background and I'm applying white embossing powder. And 
now we're just left to uh, heat set. I'm just uh, kind of heating that panel from the back to make sure that it captures all the embossing powder, that it stays there. And uh, while well, my heat tool was still heating up, so when I go directly onto the embossing powder, it sometimes it kind of blows it away. But if you do it from the back, it kind of makes it stick to the, the paper and then when you go to, uh, when you go from the front side it just melts it in and you get better coverage especially when you have more solid backgrounds or solid images now I trim down the background to um, four and three quarters length or height and my wood is four and a quarter which is the same as a2 cart um, front. So and I have already pre-made a top folding note card. I'm using my scoring tool just as a positioning guide to make sure that I uh, adhere that nice and straight. So I added that one and next I'm using a T ruler to adhere my sentiment and tweezers. So we're almost done here. I just decided to add some rhinestones as a finishing touch. I'm adding little dots of um, adhesive. I'm using strong adhesive to make sure even when this card goes through the mail they stay on. I'll add one more there and one to the left side, one over the sentiment. And this finishes our card for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the LDRS Creative YouTube channel and also visit the blog for more ideas and more inspirations. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.